museum is actually a great resource for the campus and not just for students, uh, not just for university students, but also for the larger community. But in terms of university students, the, the museum and the exhibits are really the public face of the research collections that are held here at UWSP. It's not necessarily unique to have a museum on a college campus. It, it's uh, significantly unique, though, to have a museum of this size and depth on a college campus this small. So Stevens Point is really lucky to have a museum like this. The UWSP Museum of Natural History was established in 1968 under the direction of Charles Long. The museum's initial location was in a lecture room on the second floor of the Science Building. Before its expansion to the Learning Resource Center, the museum housed many impressive exhibits, including a live boa constrictor and a skeleton of a Native American. The idea was really to have a true natural history museum, meaning that you had a place to exhibit the collections, a place where students com could come and actually see what was in the collections. The idea initially was to have the exhibits really reflect the research that was going on with the university. When the museum first began, um, it had a number of courses associated with it. Initially, there was a course offered in museum studies, which was largely a course that dealt with exhibit creation. Currently, the museum is used by all the introductory biology courses. It's used by introductory geology courses, it's used for introductory physical geography courses, and it's used by a number of art courses, as well as a few classes from the School of Education. And there's actually uh, still in place a museum studies minor. We've got a pretty large uh, freshwater fish exhibit, which um, contains all the freshwater fish species found in Wisconsin lakes and rivers. Those are big draws for CNR and wildlife students. In the front of the museum, we have what's called the Menominee Clans exhibit that deals with um, sculptures that represent the clans within the Menominee Nation. And those were created by a, a Menominee elder named James Frechette. Frechette created those sculptures, and uh, this is really a one-of-a-kind exhibit. Uh, UWSP is incredibly lucky to have something like this. But the museum's impressive repertoire didn't come without a struggle. In 1995, due to the university budget cuts, the museum began to struggle for its existence. After the early 90s, the museum um, was really affected by budget cuts. Currently, it's um, sort of in between. It's not that it's uh, really suffering financially at the moment. It's more that the administration is trying to decide um, how much money to allocate to something like this. And along with that, what value does it have? UWSP has this great resource. It's got a functional museum with phenomenal collections. Um, in a way, it's financially irresponsible not to use it. I mean, part of what we need to do is go through all of our collections and decide what we really want to hang on to and what we're just going to have to let go of. Currently, what's in storage is mainly ethnographic materials in that we have a large collection of um, Native American, prehistoric Native American artifacts. Many of those are from excavated sites from UWSP. Eventually, as we rework the mission statement and the goal of the museum, we want to move it towards a much more regional museum. So we want to change the focus of the museum to sort of an upper Great Lakes focus so that we can better represent our collections and again, current research. This museum has a history almost as rich as the stories that lie within it. Accounts of culture, environment, and diversity are just waiting to be explored.